Hi everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question frequency of the most frequent element. The frequency of an element is the number of times it occurs in an array. So you are given integer array nums and integer k. In one operation, you can choose the index of nums and increase an element at that index by 1. Return the maximum possible frequency of element after performing at most k operations. So let's see the example. So you are given 1, 2, 4 and k equal 5. Output is 3 uh, because increment the first element 3 times. So that should be 4. And the rest of k should be 2. And uh, the second element 2 times to make uh, nums like 4, 4, 4. So add 2 uh, at, second, uh, at index 1. So that should be 4. And uh, k is now 0. And uh, we successfully uh, get uh, 3, 4. So that's why output is 3. Okay, so let me explain with this example 1, 3, 3, 5, 5, and k equal 4. I already sorted the input array like this. Um, there, I think there is a case where input array is unsorted, but uh, there is a, we don't see any um, constraints such as um, subsequence or adjacent rules. So I believe we can sort input array like this. And there are a few uh, variables. Uh, one is a left pointer and the right pointer initialized with zero. And the uh, result variable also initialized with zero. This is a return value. And the uh, current total, current total is a uh, uh, like a to num is a total number of between left pointer and the right pointer. And uh, I already write down the some formula, so I'll explain this. So to solve this question, right pointer is kind of a target number. So let's say right pointer is now index 2. And uh, so I use this formula. So now right pointer is 3. Multiply. And this is a length of window between left pointer and right pointer. So 2 minus 0 plus 1 is 3, and uh, total 9. So what is 9 about? As I told you, uh, right pointer is kind of a target number. So if all number in the range are 3, in this case, um, this number is 3, uh, total of all numbers in the range are uh, 9. So, and then greater than uh, this total is actual uh, total number in the range. So that means like 1 plus 3 plus 3 and uh, 7 plus k, 4. So we can increase the number 4 times. So that's why uh, we need plus 4. So total 11. So 9 is greater than 11. It's not. That means uh, we can uh, expand the uh, range to next. And then uh, we do the same things uh, for this range. OK, so what if this number is 4? So this number is 4. So total of all numbers in the range should be so like this is a kind of target number, so we need to this number four and this number also four. So total four multiply four, uh, four multiply three, and uh, total twelve. But the uh, actual number is seven plus four and eleven. So 12 is greater than 11. Yes. In that case, uh, we can get uh, like a 3, 4 because we need a 12. But uh, 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 after uh, increment operation, we get uh, like a total 11. So we have uh, like a one short. So in that case, we have to uh, shorten the current window. So in that case, uh, we need to move left pointer to 
next. So current range should be like this. So that's how we can use this uh, formula. So let me uh, explain from the beginning. Okay, so let's begin. Um, first of all, uh, 1 multiply uh, 0 minus 0 plus 1 is 1, and uh, 1 uh, is greater than uh, total is 1 plus k and 5. Uh, we don't meet this condition. So in that case, just uh, update right pointer to next. And now um, right pointer is now 3. And uh, 3 uh, multiply uh, 1 minus 0 plus 1 is 2. So total 6. 6 is greater than uh, current actual total is 4 uh, plus uh, k, 4, 8. So 6 is greater than 8. Uh, it's not. So in the case, just update uh, to a right pointer to next. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, length of uh, range should be uh, answer. So now, uh, so we confirm that uh, we can uh, change all numbers to uh, to three when we have a range like uh, from zero to one. So now answer is two, and then move next. And uh, now right pointer is three. So three multiply. Uh, length 3 is oops, oops, um, equal 9 greater than uh, actual total is 7 oops, it's hard um, 3 uh, plus 4 11 so 9 is greater than 11 it's not. In the case, um, result should be 3 because uh, we can uh, change all numbers uh, to 3 uh, between current range. So in the case, just move next, right pointer to next. And then again, now right pointer is 5 multiply right is now uh, 0, 1, 2, 3. 3 minus 0 plus 4 is 4. So total of all numbers are uh, uh, tw uh, 20. So greater than actual total is um, 1 plus 3 plus 3, 7 and 12 plus 4. So 12 is greater than 16. Yes. In that case, um, we have to uh, shorten the current window. So in that case, we move to uh, left pointer to next. So now a uh, length of range should be 3. So 3. And uh, if all numbers are 5, uh, in that case, a uh, total of all numbers should be 15. 15 is greater than um, current total should be, uh, actual current total should be 3 plus 3 plus five and uh, 11 plus 4 15 so 15 is greater than 15 uh, this is a not greater than or equal so uh, it's not in that case uh, we can uh, expand the range to next 
and uh, again, uh, so now uh, uh, target number is five. So five multiply so lengths between left pointer and the right pointer is now four equal oops twenty is greater than so current actual number should be a uh, ten plus sixteen plus four twenty in the case uh, we can expand the range so before that um, current uh, length of the range is now one two three four so update the result variable to four and then move next but uh, there is no number here so that's why um, we should return four okay so let's check so now we have two five and uh, if i update this three to five and the rest of k should be two and uh, we find another three uh, if i update uh, this three to five k should be zero and then we successfully get uh, four five yeah i think that is the answer okay so let's write the code first of all um we need to sort input array so sort and uh, we have a few variables like a uh, left pointer equal right pointer equal result variable and uh, total variable uh, initialized with zero and uh, start looping if right pointer is less than length of nums in the case um first of all uh, calculate uh, current actual total so total plus equal nums and right and uh, while current target number multiply uh, right minus left plus one this is a, a window length um, between the left pointer and the right pointer is greater than total plus k. In that case, we need to shorten the window length. So total minus equal nums and the left because uh, uh, this left number is uh, will be uh, out of bounds. And then update left pointer to next after that um, compare current max length versus uh, current length so result variable equal max and the result variable and the right minus left plus one after that um, move, uh, move right pointer to next so right plus equal one and then return result variable so let me submit it yeah looks good and the time complexity of this solution should be order of n log n because uh we sort input array here and the uh, space complexity is um so in this program uh o1 but uh, depends on uh sorting algorithm it should be like a order of n or other complexity so it really depends on uh, sorting algorithm here. So let me summarize step-by-step -step algorithm. This is a step-by-step -step algorithm of frequency of the most frequent element. Step one, initialize left and the right pointer result in the current total variables. And step two, start looping add current number to the current total and shorten window size between left and the right pointer. If number, so current right multiply uh, current window size is greater than total current total plus uh, k operation step three compare the current length with the current max length yeah actually that's it i hope this video helps you understand this question well if you like it please subscribe the channel hit the like button 
for leaving a comment. I'll see you in the next question.